Alan, you don't expect a higher to be this far behind, but because of the Earth Spirits play, a higher is still just level two and a half at four minutes in. And he can't go to his own jungle. Hold that thought. 343 three. avoids the rolling boulder. Still doesn't have glimpse. He's level two. Hasn't skilled anything up yet. Needs maybe a kinetic field to actually stay alive here, but he's taking a lot of damage. They have maybe coming in the breathe fire. Should do the job, and it will. Seth will get your first blood. And they chase down the support. They even get some vision as well. DJ will pick up an invis rune that might actually save his life, although maybe he didn't have any mana left. They're Fnatic, they don't have the Earth Spirit, so not easy to catch anybody for LGD right now for Fnatic. And when you're a Titan, you can just solo push your lane with not a single teammate on your side of the map. You're in a good position. Problem is, he may have just overstayed his Glimpse, Static Storm, Shao right, trying to take it, but there's the Malefist. They will finally bring him down, even with Mech. He's dead for 42. They get a pick that they desperately need, gets Mushi up to the top in net worth, and gets him towards that Yule Scepter as well. That's much needed kill. He was getting way too much out of that bottom lane. He's seeing on 50. 1500 gold. He actually is going to go straight into the pipe here, We're opting to tank up even more. Rolling and boulder from Sep misses again, but there's the infest bomb, and this time Ohio's in trouble. Roar will come out, they have the magnetized, they get off the silence as well, and Ohio will get right click down. The exorcism will go for Mushi, doing a decent amount of damage Resident to that aggressive. Trouble. The Boris low comes through, he has no infest, he has the armor toggle, needs to be careful. The spirit type coming out, the glimpse back onto aggressive, gets him back in there. They get the grave off in time though, the open wounds will come through, they have the kinetic field. There's the black hole, oh dropping long grave! To three, Sep as well as MMY are gonna get two down, three dead. Mushi gets a double kill. DJ, are you kidding me? From the low ground, DJ, God, the crowd he just goes insane as he hits the black hole of his life. That's exactly what Fnatic needed he comes back online, you have a way to glimpse initiate on the tide, burst him down without the threat of a ravage, and this is where this tide pick is not as scary as it was last game, because you have a way oh, to prevent it. Oh, this TP, it. they have everything. Ohio looking for that roar, maybe in trouble, the exorcism will go. They've got ravage, the silence gets out in time, and Shelly walks into it, the crypt storm, the spirit lands, he gets off the ravage, though they won't lose anyone just yet, but now the fight is over, the glimpse back coming through, it's on to Shelly, he gets the grave off, they have black hole still, DJ running low on mana, Shelly about to go down, the exorcism, not done yet, Yet they've lost one, that's the disruptor, and Shao will live, but a black hole onto, onto aggressive, they get the mech off, but is it enough? Can he stay alive? They should have Grave ready to go, he pops the infest, gets inside of Xiaowei, now pops out, looking for more damage, but the exorcism gets the kill, Mushi alive, but barely, now mid one and DJ have to back as maybe has popped the Elder Dragon form, it is a 3 for 3 when it's all said and done, it took forever to bring down Xiaowei, but they did in the end. Dazzle, Mama Ya doing so much in the back lines there. Heal after heal, he had the full duration weave up as well, providing a ton of sustain and... It was way too greedy underneath the tower. They know the LGD TPs are going to be slow because it was an aggressive TP up there, which meant that the follow-up TPs are going to take that extra couple of seconds, but... Maybe uh, he's going to find DJ uh -oh. in the same spot they found him earlier. He's in trouble. He's going to pop the mech. Still has that BKB if necessary. Not to mention Black Hole, but he's out of mana. He pops the BKB and will go down to the right click. Maybe he's going to queued up by the Exorcism. They get off the mech as well as the Shadow Wave. And now Mushi has to go to work on it. Shadow Wave instead. He's got no mana to use his Ravage, though. He's in trouble. He gets forced away. And actually, they clip him back. Do they have the damage to chew through Shadow Wave in time? He's got Ravage. He doesn't want to use it. He will, but it catches no one. Mushi's still getting chewed down by Aggressive. He gets the rage in the open wounds. They finally get the kill on to two for Fnatic and LGD DJ just getting caught in a bad position again guys very low I don't see Fnatic in it committing to defend this tower at this point well they smoke they want to fight though Ohio's ready with a roar on the side he spoke too soon they're ready to jump in mid one actually gets bowler spent they're looking to dive they get the gush off he's got doppelganger nice sounds coming through and here comes DJ from the back and they have the black hole ready to go the poison touch they have the roar on the MMY, they get the Static Storm on the two as well. MMY getting low and will fall first on the other side. Black Hole on maybe, but he gets the BKB off in time. Do they have the damage? Shao he jumps in, still no Ravage ready to go. They get the mech through as well. Ohio trying to bring maybe down as much as possible. They get the Exorcism off. Aggressive might lose that Aegis. He's getting right clicked in, of course, Spirit Siphon down. They're going to work maybe. Will fall to the Exorcism. They get off Shao as well with the Kinetic Field. Mushi takes down the Aggressive. Rabbit. Can they get the job done? He gets destroyed. Aggressive right clicks him down in the end. Three for two exchange so far. Axes will get the ages sniped by Ohio in the end of the engagement. Xiaowei should be able to get out. Maybe he wants to stay with aggressive. We'll see if they keep trying to pressure here. Yeah, they've got a ravage here, but Xiaowei very low. Unlikely to look to re-engage in. See, LGD are doing just that. They've smoked up. They still have Blink Ravage ready to go on top of the Guardian Greaves. They're looking to run straight down mid and try to find a pickoff, and it might be on the Enigma again. DJ getting boulder smashed, rolling boulder, and he pops the mech in BKB, no black hole. Now another rolling boulder, and DJ will fall. He gets off the midnight pulse at the end, but 
LGD find another much needed pick, and they might even try to push high ground now. That's DJ, since getting this BKB, has not progressed at all in terms of items. He's been getting put out a few times. This has been a very rare bat. This is a player who, like, you feel never has bad games, but it's not been an easy game to do. Ravage onto Ohio solo oh. at this point. They blow him up, but he does have buyback. But Ravage is committed. That's okay. Looks back. Static Storm aggressive. Caught in the kinetic field, but They're there's no follow-up damage. And meanwhile, going to work at the top lane, you can see it. The PL is going to town of the Malorax. It's time to back for LGD. Maybe he's trying to do as much damage as possible. The Glyph has done in that top lane. They will go to work on mid one. The Infest out. He's in trouble. He might actually aggressive? fall. Doppelganger away. Mushi mid lane aggressive almost going call. down. Meanwhile, mid one is turning it around. Killing two. He can even get the Rax out. LGD, the rest of them have to Back. They have to buy back on aggressive as well. Xiao Wei having to head out and PL will doppelganger to the low ground with 50 HP. Can they catch him in time? Open Moons will try to TP around. Can they find he the right click? Oh! He'll make it out of time! Mid what a TP from mid one! What a play from the young star! This fanatic PL! Play the split push game. Now it looks like the call is actually gonna be let's not fight into the Roche area for now. Mid one has uh, oh. headed towards top. Route to travel in. He's gonna TP and down towards the bottom. Come soon. Roar's gonna find Xiao Wei. Can they burn his mana? Static Storm on top. They will lose Xiao Wei maybe in time. They have Grave ready to go. Can they get it off? No, Xiao Wei. Now the black hole on the maybe. It's solo. Can they bring him down? Aggressive two through three, four, three. But he's already gotten the Static Storm. Great, great from him. Why to keep maybe up? But Aggressive going to work. Mushi about to fall. No more exorcism. It comes down to mid one. Ohio left in the pit. You can see the illusions going to work. Ohio gets gushed up, getting chased down by Xiao Wei. But looks like they're going to turn their attention. Aggressive is low. Out of mana. There's the age is gone. Down for three seconds. No maybe for 57 as well. And then why getting low? And it looks like Aggressive looking for more. Blinks forward trying to find any other target. But Fnatic have already backed. Still, they did commit the black hole and exorcism. And LGD only lost the Aegis as well. Up a Demon Edge now to build towards an MKB. So he wants to counter this butterfly pickup on mid one. But... And that's where I feel like Fnatic, if they can find a good 5v5 fight while they've got the Butterfly and there's no MKB, may be able to come out on top. Oh, no, they're going to find the Ancient Black Dragon, and mid one is going to chew through this so fast, but maybe is in fizzed up, and they're going to go to work with Steven Guard. Dapplegear comes out, they get the Ravage, but they have the BKB at least on DJ, looking for a Black Hole, can't find it, roars up into Aggressive, still trying to find that Black Hole. Meanwhile, 5x mid one as he gets dropped down, the Exorcism will go Aggressive, running at the TP coming through, and it might get canceled on the tail, and it looks like it does. They will fight four versus five, and so far, a oh, Black Hole on the tail. Can this turn it around? Maybe slow, but they should have a grave available ready for MMY. They've lost two, they've lost three, including the buyback. The axe is coming through, the X is still doing work, but it's just not enough. And Mushi about to fall. Maybe gets the triple kill. What an engagement from the DK and LGD as a whole. Yeah, their, their team fight, the sustain, they've got the weave up again. Maybe he's just so tanky. The BK up against the wall here. Yeah, they put away 20 seconds for a black hole. I've got Glyph. Exorcism is back up. They can't afford two sets of racks, perhaps. Still no Static Storm and no 343 for 30 seconds. Gush will come out aggressive. He's going to get chewed through again. Has that Aegis. They have Grave ready. He's running low on mana, and they will get that first set of racks. The first man, the racks. Black Hole is going to be on to two. Is it enough? They have the Exorcism. They might only get the Aegis. The Shao is very tanky. The Shiva's Guard will come through. There's just not enough damage. He infests out and stays alive. The Grave comes through again from MMY. Maybe it's actually going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with mid one and lose. And Aggressive is now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ohio, but he is getting chewed through by the Exorcism. They have to roll in Boulder away. They will at least lose this first life of Aggressive, but that might be it. Can he get out in time? He should have that BKB. No, he doesn't. He has no rage either. The Static He blinks out of time, but the Glimpse will come through. 3 4 3 was ready. Aggressive will fall. They do get a full set of racks and the melee racks bottom god, so it's not all bad for LGD there. Close to his tier 3 tower. I mean, they, they practically have to dive if they want to find an engagement here for Fnatic. And the vision is not bad. They may actually go in Jawe, but he maybe. has to buy back. They're pinging on maybe. I think they want to go for him, but he's going to back up already. Mushi, not been scouted yet. Now Xiao Wei, they come through, and he's actually going to get drained of his mana, but still gets out in time, and here comes Aggressive. They have the Abyssal Blade. There's the Static Storm. Black Hole, he's looking oh, he for it. Can't out. find it. And DJ won't, miss, won't be able to hit it. Now he gets the Black Hole. On to two of the two cores. Do they have the damage? The Exorcism maybe in trouble. Do they have the Grave in time from MMY? But can they survive through the fight? Maybe about to fall. Stone Form coming out from the Earth Spirit. 
He'll be pulled back with the Geo back down to Griffin. Nobody is dead yet, but here comes the glimpse. They get the glimpse back and they get the DK. He's got 5x, but he has no Elder Dragon form in mid one is full health still. They're gonna go for the tier three tower, even with Exorcism and Black Hole down. This is still troublesome. They do have double Ravage though, ready to go for the Tide Hunter. He can fight back, but he has no Dragon form, which really limits what DK can do in a fight. Importantly, Zhao Wei had no mana that time. He's got a refresher now though. Five back coming through. There's gonna be the Ravage, but he actually only hits it onto DJ. Refresher will come out. He gets off the second, but DJ will fall. This one tanky enough, but he still has to do this on his own. The sound comes down. He's in trouble. He can't afford to go down, and he will. Shall we get the double? He'll be dead for two minutes. That is a huge kill. They have to defend two minutes now without their main damage dealer in the PL. They're, they're ready. They've actually got a smoke. They can bypass the Hawk with this, but... There is no way they take this in time. Fnatic need to get out. Mushi is going to be stunned by the Boulder Smash. They're going to come through. Shawit looking for a Ravage. Can't find it. Mushi pops the BKB early. Aggressive flicks in. Pops the Rage as well. Still has his BKB ready to go. They really want to contest this and take it down as quickly as possible. They get the refresher for Ohio. It's coming out. Double Roar is ready. Can they find a kill off of this? Maybe he's walking up with a Silver Edge. Ohio's going to be pumped first. Ravage catches on to two. Black Hole counter initiation. Static Storm on top. Aggressive is low. They get off the Static Storm. Shelly pops for first. It's not enough. Maybe he's getting two through by mid one. They get off the roar. They'll lose two. They'll lose three. They buy back on the Tide. He's got another Ravage. They have no buyback on Maybe. What an initiation from DJ. And they'll find another one. They get MMY. Min one gets a double. The crowd is going absolutely freaking nuts, guys. I just like took my headset off. I'm like, whoa, oh my god. The DJ just comes up. He saves Ohio. I'm like, I see Ohio get stunned. I'm like, oh, that's the worst possible scenario for Fnatic. If Ohio dies, he has no buyback. He doesn't get either roar off, but DJ's black hole. Insane! They know they'll have one exorcism used, so they didn't need to rush things here. They are pinging bottom, saying, look, if we don't do this quick, bottom lane is going to become a problem. So let's perhaps go sometime soon. They're going to send the Blink Ravage in. They'll get the Aegis instantly, the Static Storm. They get the Refresher off now. DJ got hit up with it as well. They're looking for Ohio. He has Double Roar still. Another Ravage. Only catches one, though. They really want this kill. The Beast Master goes up and comes down. He gets Great the Roar off as well. They have Blink Black Hole. He's looking for it. Can't find it. He misses oh, it he on wins. Maybe. He actually misses it. Maybe still, though, in trouble. About to fall. And Chan Remnant comes out from Seb. Still, though, in trouble. Maybe comes out. The Grave comes through. Aggressive and Xiaowei going to work. Maybe. Very low. Now the Black Hole. He refreshes it. DJ will find three. Aggressive is about to fall. And there it is. They've done it's it. It's GG. DJ Enigma. What a hero. Fnatic have somehow turned this game around. Mark. He buys the refresher mid fight and gets the job done. Are you joking me? What this a Black Hole. This is a championship caliber team. This is a team who have just shown they can turn around games, turn around fights like that. LGD, they played some great Dota, but Fnatic, when it came down to it, in the clutch, they delivered. In front of the SCA crowd, more than happy to see Fnatic move on to top six. Well, this Filipino crowd have a player to cheer for. It may just be one, but one is all it takes to keep Fnatic in the winner bracket today, Mark.